I wasn't supposed to play sport and I wasn't allowed to do certain jobs, but it was always my passion to do sport and it was my dream. And I've always gone around telling the younger generation, if you can't follow your own dreams, then what are you going to do in life? Um, you've got to follow your dreams. If people tell you you can't do things, I've always gone through life trying to prove that wrong. And I think being sat here right now, I can safely say I've done that. So I was born um, with a squint. Um, I had multiple operations when I was younger to try and correct my, my eyes and it's never been fully repaired. I mean, I can go back to have operations right now, but I've always delayed it because of, I don't see the need. I've, I've, I'm here for a reason, so it's obviously not affecting me in, in that kind of way, but um, I have no depth perception, so I can't judge distances. So being a keeper doesn't really make a lot of sense, but, but you know, it, it's, it's turned out for the best, I think. It's more off the pitch that I find a difference when if I'm overly tired, you will notice it. I'll have a lazy eye, it will start wandering, and you just have to correct it, and hopefully no one notices. Um, but even just pouring a glass of water, um, if I'm not holding the cup itself, I will miss the jug and it will be spilt all over the side. I've done that a few times now. I think, especially in the situation with being told I can't, I, from a young age, I wanted to play sport. Um, my parents told me they couldn't get me off the side of the pitch when I was watching my brother play his sports. I was kicking a ball around, I was running around after, after things and they knew straight away I wanted to play sport and they didn't tell me I couldn't. So um, I only found out when I was older that my parents were told, yeah, you, you actually aren't supposed to be able to do this. Um, so I think finding that out then made me more determined to get to the highest level I possibly could.